How's it going, everybody? My name is Joe, and I'm going to be reacting to Andor Season 1, Episode 8. And before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. So which prison block is he going to be transported to? Back to Karn. What did you do, Karn? Did you keep pursuing Cassian? Uh, Deidre. I'm Lieutenant Deidre Mira. I'm Deidre. the ISB supervisor for the Morlana sector. I keep submitting requests to the Bureau of Standards Data Center looking for Cassian Andor. Mm, of course he, he was. Claimed. I have been trying with the limited tools available to find him. So this is about public safety. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to see the report. You signed it. I was given no choice. All right. You gotta let him read it now. We should be upstairs by now. Give him Blevins' report. Let him read it. There we go. Narkina 5. Uh, is it like an underwater base? Underwater prison, I mean. Similar to the raft in the MCU. Oh, yeah, definitely. Multiple. My full report highlights the prevalence of this problem galaxy wide. The thief was a local named Cassian Andor. He was wanted for the murder of two corporate security officers. His star path was left behind as he escaped the tactical team sent in to arrest him to a person we've named Axis because of his centrality Luthen. to what we believe to be an organized rebel effort. And for those of you that don't know, Yalar in there, he's the same guy that's in Clone Wars and Rebels, the narrator in Clone Wars. Go, sir. Identify Axis. They escaped together. It's the first best lead we've had. Drill down, find Andor, and get a hunt started. Good thing you guys already captured him. <laughs> Unknowingly. Weird boots. Welcome to Narkina 5. This is an Imperial factory facility. I'm wondering how we risk standing before you with our weapons. All right, well, tell us. very often, but... Ooh. What's happening? Are they getting shocked? Our floor is a tungsten steel. Does that make sense why they have those boots? I'm assuming they're very shock absorbent. It's clear you need Andor in order to find his partner. It's also clear that whatever this is is more important than the death of two corporate security guards. It could be a valuable asset going forward. I remember where that's at, Cassian. You're gonna need it if you're gonna try to escape. That means hands on head, eyes front, feet on the floor. On program. Alrighty, that's a lot of people. Step onto the lift and stop. Move forward. This is Unit 52D. Hey. Level 5, room 2. The D is for day shift. Each table. My name yeah, is Andy Circus. That's cool. I didn't know he was going to be in this. 12 hour shift. Productivity is encouraged. Evaluation is constant. You have been assigned table 5. You play against all the other tables in this room. I play against all the other rooms. As ever, the least productive table will be disciplined. Go, 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 go. It's a lot of moving parts. Get busy or get fried. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So, the evening's agenda. I need votes to stall the Emperor's latest overreach. The Senator is pitching politics, not charity. Saving the Empire from the Emperor. <laughs> the new legislation is definitely having an effect. Well, the rebels might have thought that over before blowing up Aldani. Sagrana <laughs> Tima. Hey, tell me, well, what effects did it cause? The new banking regulations are making life difficult. Difficult or impossible? You're drinking squigs. Oh, I've lost my taste for it. It's disgusting. Uh, that's the point. <laughs> what about the money I've moved already? But everything's tucked away. We'll find a way to explain it. Cassian's in shock. Who's this guy doing sign language with? Damn, is that like another room, another unit? That guy's super animated. Dang, there's so many. Yes, I'm at great risk of ingesting too much of this nourishing Chandrillan hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> Is their room cell? See the white lights? It's the floor. 
White is cold, red is hot. The white lights start flashing, you've got seven seconds. Water, night light, toilet flips down. You've got a plate, spoon, and shaver. The tube. <laughs> you can get as much as you want. The Surprising. light is healthy and fueled. And that is your tab. So what did you do? P.O.R.D. Uh, what my life I was talking about. About what? The public order resentencing directive. You don't walk in your sleep, do you? What? <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. Mom became a senator at 16. Damn, Isn't so young. Right? No, we'd already been married a year. So All right, wow. 15. <laughs> Some time is definitely past there. 30 shifts later. Uh, this is how they get clean, how they shower. Casting's a pro now. Three's off two. Uh, back at Ferrix. Uh, Cassian's friend. Where are you going? Oh, you're freezing. My mother was She's sick? And that'll cure you. Apparently I'm throwing a party. <laughs> the boys have to carry you back here. Mm, well, it travels fast. She fell. She fell trying to pry open the old red floodgate. Damn. She got to flush them out? No. She wanted to see if the tunnel under the hotel was still open. So the rebellion can sneak in and take them by surprise. She's a rebel. Hey, it's Val. And Sentra. She made it out. I had no idea. By the way, I was about to come and look in. Can't just stay here. I can. Two of us would draw too much attention. We'll just stay here and wait. Just hope he shows up. What's the alternative? Haven't we been apart long enough? It's not about us. You think the Empire stops to catch its breath? This is a fight to the death, Fell. He's rooted deep with the rebellion. I need to look for something in the back. I'm not sure that's a good idea. It's been off for a while. It's urgent. You're gonna try to call Luthen? Yeah, she is. Is he gonna answer? That's the real question. Leia? She's listening in. It's the shop owner on Ferrix. She's trying to find Cassian Andor. His mother is ill. She might have a lead. Yeah, more likely it's the ISB working her radio. Are you guessing? And you're slipping. Knowing is out there, knowing me. Not knowing what he knows. Vulnerability is inevitable. I just need you to wake up. There's a lot to do. Shut it down. So where are you going, Val? We got Sentra over here, still spying on the mom. Where are you going, Luthen? Coordinate alternatives for Sigra Milo. No, what are you doing, man? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> we'll be smelling him all night. Oh man. What's going oh, on? is it the dad? I'm not sure they're all over it. Look what you did, Bix. What's going on? They took back in last night. Where? The hotel. Colleen! Bix Colleen. Run! Get her! Get her! <laughs> what a scream. Go, Bix. Go, Bix. Back to Luthen. Segra Milo. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Oh, is it who I think it is? Garrison at all oh, time. yeah. Is that you? It's all Guerrero. to ask you the same thing. How about a full set of Imperial drive adapters? I also got three sealed steer guard targeting deflectors. And two Kruger. He's been probing the Imperial power station at Spellhouse. He found a weakness in the defenses. I want you to hear his plan. He'll need air support. Let's just keep this shit. I'll take all three deflectors. How much? Well, you meet with Krieger, they're free. I work alone. That's what I'm trying to change. I'm not going to put my people at risk for someone else. We need to pull together, Saul. Fresh and breeze rebellion. True. Galaxy partitionist! They're lost! All of them, lost! What are you, Saw? You're in extremes lost. as well. What are you, Luthen? That's a good question, too. What are you, Luthen? I've never really known. <laughs> no sales today, Luthen. Luck with Anto Krieger. Yeah, cut. Would you like us to clear the room? No. I want her to see him. Bart. What are you doing? Get him out of here. Quickly. 
You two, with me. Now! How well is she going to do under torture? You're an all pro now, Cassian. Uh, are we going to end now? Alrighty, so that was episode 8 of Andor. The episode starts with the transportation of prisoners. Cassian is sent to the planet Narkina 5. Narkina 5 houses underwater prison blocks. And like I said in the reaction, very similar to the MCU's raft. Once Cassian and his other inmates make it in, they are approached by some of the officers there with electric absorbent boots. To force their obedience, they press a button that causes the steel floor to electrocute them since they're barefoot. Cassian gets assigned and introduced to his new unit this unit is led by andy circus's character he gives the general rundown of what this is and what he has to do and is assigned table five with six other members he meets the members and observes the process since the beginning of the episode we see cassian start from his first day to about 30 days later cassian is a pro knows what he's doing but we also witness a person committing suicide in the room cell mon mothma holding another party running around trying to collect more votes to her cause seems like since some time has passed tay has been trying to help mon with the movement of her money apparently there's some difficulty because of the new legislation that's coming down from from palpatine we also have karn in the episode get brought in to talk to dedra dedra questions him about about the report made for the incident apparently he never read it he was just forced to sign it dedra let him read it to try to see if he could fill in any gaps karn could not implant it in the back of her mind that he would be a valuable asset to help find cassian back at ferrix we see Cassian's stepmom seems sick but we find out that she hurt herself she fell trying to open a valve at the hotel where the empire is staying They're trying to find a way for the rebels to enter through an empty tunnel that was apparently underneath the hotel as we see Bix and Cassian's friend talk outside of her building we see Vel and Sintra spying on them since they were ordered to find and kill Cassian basically the outcome of that is that Sintra is going to stay in case Cassian ever comes back while Vel is going to go out and I'm assuming find another way to find Cassian. We also see Bix try to send communication to Luthen again to see if he knows the whereabouts of Cassian. Clea, Luthen's assistant, talks sense into him, basically saying it's dangerous. Ferrix is under Empire control. They shouldn't respond. Luthen eventually agrees. And from there, the very next day, Pack was apparently taken by the Imperial officers. Some of the neighbors were checking out what was going on. One of the officers catches Bix and takes her in for questioning. And the scene ends with them showing that they're going to torture Bix for information. The last thing we could talk about is Luthen going to talk to Saul Guerrero. He's kind of holding his cards to his chest and kind of playing it off asking if Saul Guerrero was responsible for the incident at Aldani. Luthen was trying to recruit him to work with another person, which I forget the name, on a mission. Saul and his stubborn self denied and didn't want to go through with it. So that's basically all the main points regarding this past episode. If you have any questions or theories, please leave it in the comments section below if you enjoyed the reaction please like the video subscribe and i'll see you on the next one